What is mass? It's all in your mind. Boy. You're a Jedi. Size means nothing to you. Ram Kota. To Starkiller when Marek first learned about General Ram Kota, he thought nothing of the Jedi Master, simply seeing him as another mission in service to Darth Vader, albeit a thrilling one for the simple reason that he had never had the opportunity to fight a real Jedi at the time. As they fought, high above Nar Shadda, Marek developed a certain respect for Kota, as he was unlike the privileged, weak image of Jedi that Marek had cultivated in his mind over the years. Much to his surprise, Kota was a true soldier. This respect did nothing to limit Marek's brutality towards Kota, however, as the apprentice blinded him and sent him plummeting to what seemed to be the general's death. Even though the Sith apprentice knew that Kota had survived, he left the Jedi to his fate, believing him to be no longer a threat. Marek's small show of mercy would greatly aid him much later on, as after Vader's betrayal and new assignment, Kota became the first of the prospective rebels that Marek sought to recruit. Over time, Marek and Kota developed a bond akin to that of Padawan and Master. Kota became the surrogate father that Vader could never truly be towards Marek, and Marek's growing trust in Kota brought the ruined Jedi Master out of a state of depression and drunkenness. In a way, Marek and Kota helped to save each other. Whereas Marek died as a Jedi by sacrificing his life to save Kota and the rebel leaders, Kota would go on to honor Marek's legacy by serving in the Alliance to restore the Republic.